Hey guys, I'm Michal from mdbootstrap.com and in today's video we'll take a closer look at the carousel component of the newest Bootstrap 5. Without further ado, let's jump into the code. In this tutorial, I will use Material Design for Bootstrap, which is a free library that greatly extends the capabilities of regular Bootstrap and provides many useful features, like for example, better look, additional components, free templates, and even a free hosting for your projects. To download Material Design for Bootstrap, just go to mdbootstrap.com and click Big Blue Get Started button. Then click Big Red Download button. Next, unzip the package. and then open it with your favorite code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. Next, double-click on index.html file and drag it to the browser. Or, if you are using Visual Studio Code as me, you can install a very useful extension called Live Server. And thanks to this, you can enable Live Reload, so anytime you change anything in your code, the browser will refresh automatically. I already have Live Server installed, so all I need to do right now is to right click on index.html file and click open with Live Server. Now let's delete the existing content to prepare the index.html file to work with the new project. Select and remove everything between start your projects here comments. Save the file. And now we are ready to start our work. Let's go back to the documentation on mdbootstrap.com. Note that all MD Bootstrap components will perform the same as regular Bootstrap but will have more features, better design and overall everything will be better here. In the search box in top left corner type carousel, so we can go to carousel docs. At first glance the carousel may seem like a complicated component but after this video everything will become simple and clear to you. So basically, the carousel is a slideshow for cycling through a series of content built with CSS, transforms and a bit of JavaScript. It works with a series of images, text or even a videos. So let's start with a basic example. Click show code and click copy. Then go back to our index.html and paste the code here. Let's change the tab and save the file. And here is our carousel. So we can change the slide by clicking the arrows, forward or back. Let's have a closer look at the code and explain all the important parts one by one. First of all, the carousel need an ID and later we refer to this ID with our indicators. Indicators are these dashes here and with the controls. The controls are the arrows arrow for the forward move and for the backward. So if you have more than one carousel on the same page and you don't change the ID, it won't work properly. Let me explain it to you by an example. I will copy this carousel here and paste it below. And now we have two carousels here. But if I want to move the slide on the second carousel, have a look it changes the images on the first carousel. And that's because they have the same ID, so this control refers to the same ID. So it will change only the first ID of the first carousel it will find in this page. So if we change the ID of this second carousel to, let's say, Carousel basic example 2. We need to change it to all the controls and all the indicators and to the carousel itself. And let's save the file. And now I can freely change the slides on both of the carousels. So remember, if you want to have more than one carousel on the same page, you always need to take care of IDs. Ok, let's get rid of this second carousel and we will stay with this one. If you want to change the animation of the carousel, just remove this carousel fade class 
and instead of fading it will slide. And let's get back with this class and now it fades. Apart from controls and indicators, in the Caruso we also have a caption. The caption is a basically a title and a description of the given slide. So if we don't want to use any particular element of the Caruso, so for example we don't want to have any indicators, you can simply remove them and it will still work. So the same with the captions. If we remove the captions here, on the first slide, it still works. And we still have a caption on the other slides. So if you want to remove a caption, uh, you need to remove it from all the slides. Now let's have a look at the slides itself. Here we have a component carousel inner and inside of this carousel inner, there are carousel items. So every item is a single slide and the active slide is a current slide that we see right now and here below we have an image with a class w100 and thanks to this it is responsive so if we change the size of the window you will see that carousel adjusts to the size of the window and that's because this class will always adjust the size of the image to 100 percent of the available space and maybe you have noticed that when we change the size of the window, the caption disappears. And that's because we use these classes here for responsive behavior. And it basically says display none. So do not display by default this particular element, but on the medium size devices and larger display it. So if we make it larger, the captions get back here. And because Bootstrap is mobile first framework, by default, we set a default setting like display none, but then we can specify how this particular element should behave on other, on bigger screens. If we want to add another slide to our carousel, we can simply copy this single item. And let's change the image here so we can see it. And also let's change the title of this slide so we can recognize it. Test slide. And here is our test slide. But as you can as you can notice, we still have a three indicators here. And that's because we need to add one more indicators here. So let's copy this. And now this will be slide two. This will be slide three and this need to be slide four right now because right now we have a four slides and now there are four indicators as you can see and I made a mistake here because as you can see the value of this data attribute is zero indexed so here should be one for the second slide here should be two for the third slide and here should be three for the fourth slide and now now it's fine. Now let's have a look at another interesting features. Let's go back to the documentation and here in the right menu click individual carousel item interval. So if you want to change the amount of time between a particular slides, you can simply add this data attribute and specify the amount of time in milliseconds that you want that given slide just be visible. So let's have a look at the first slide and let's set a value to 10 milliseconds. So it will be very fast. And as you can see, immediately after saving the file, the slide switch to the second slide. And if we change it to 100 seconds or even better to 10,000 milliseconds, it will stay very, very long until it reach the time and switch the slide. So you can use this data attribute on any on any slide to manipulate the amount of time on a given slide. 
Another thing worth noting is a dark variant. So if you use a dark theme on your project, you can add a carousel dark class and thanks to this all the elements in the carousel will become dark. So let's try this out. We need to add this dark carousel class to the same element that is our that hold our carousel class and here you can see now everything becomes black. There are a few more interesting advanced options in the carousel that are worth mentioning. So let's go back to the documentation and let's change the tab to API. And here in the options section, we can see a few interesting features that we can use. For example, the keyboard options. Let's have a look at how it works right now. So if I click the arrow, now I can manipulate the carousel by using my keyboard. So as you can see, I don't click the arrow with my mouse cursor. I can just simply switch it forward and backward with my keyboard. But if I want to block this, I can use a data attribute and paste it here to the main wrapper of my carousel and let's change this interval to the keyboard and as you can see by default it's true so let's change it to false and now I cannot change I cannot change the slide with my keyboard so what else do we have here I mentioned before that we can change the amount of time for a given slide to stay visible by using interval attribute but we can change it also for the entire carousel so first Let's get rid of this data attribute that we used on the second slide. But instead of this, let's use it on the entire carousel. So let's change it, for example, to 500. And let's see how our carousel will react with this. So now it's really, really fast. We can make it even faster or, of course, slower by increasing the number and what's more interesting we can still when using the data attribute on the entire carousel we can still use it on a specific slide so for example if i want all the slides to move very quickly but i want the second slide to stay longer i can do it by adding the same attribute to the second slide and now, as you can see, all the slides move very quickly, but on the second slide, it stays longer. So this is the second slide and it stops. Let's see it again, very fast and slow. Let's remove data attribute from this item and let's have a look at another feature. As you can see, when we hover the carousel, it stops sliding. If we remove the cursor, it starts again. And we can change this behavior by using pause attribute. So let's copy this, but instead of interval, let's set a pause to false. And now after saving the file, if I hover my carousel, it won't stop. If we remove this data attribute, it stops again. If you want to prevent the carousel from sliding automatically, you need to change data MDB interval to false. And now it will slide only when the user click the arrow. If we change it back to some value, to some number, it will slide again with the speed that we specify in this attribute. There are a few more advanced options available in the carousel component. For example, if you want to have more than one item on every slide, you can use multi-item carousel. And this option is available in MDB Pro package. So if you want to purchase this, in the description of this video, you will find a huge discount code that you can use on the checkout to get MDB Pro with all the awesome Pro features. But what else you can use for free is for example, 
a video carousel. If you go back to the main page of MD Bootstrap and in the footer you will find a link to extended documentation and here in the search book search box you can find by typing video you can find a video carousel so if we copy this code and we replace our carousel with this new one you can see we have a beautiful video carousel which is also responsive by default that's very useful stuff another interesting option is a full page video carousel or generally whatever carousel you want it can be with image as well so here you can click on this image and you will find a link to the entire template that we can copy and now we can paste it to our project replacing the existing carousel here let's paste it and let's save it and now as you can see our carousel fill up the entire space and there is one important feature not available in regular bootstrap but available in MD bootstrap component and that's our mask so the problem with a regular carousel is that when we place some text some caption on image sometimes it's the contrast it's not strong enough and we cannot see properly the text so in empty bootstrap we have something called masks so if you type mask in the search box you will find a documentation of these useful features and as you can see we can change the overlay of the image and thanks to this we can increase the contrast so here as you can see on every slide we have a mask component and using RGBA color we can increase or decrease the contrast so let's say I will change it to 0.9 it will be very strong and it's the last I'm sorry it's this slide and now it's very dark if I want to decrease the contrast I can change it back to 0.3 and I can of course play with the colors as well so it doesn't need to be only a dark mask it can be a very different colors and even a gradient that's a very useful feature by the way did you know that thanks to MD Bootstrap you can use free hosting for your projects we call it MDBGo and it's really great visit mdbgo.com for more information in the description of this video you will also find a link on how to use MDB Go hosting and how to install MDB CLI which is a fantastic and free supporting tool that provides many useful features and functionalities. Now let me just show you how easy it is to publish our newly created project on the internet thanks to MDB Go. I already have MDB CLI installed on my computer so all I need to do right now is to run my terminal and enter the directory where we have our project. So here is the folder with the MDB package we downloaded and where we have been working on our project. So let's copy its path and let's enter it in the terminal. Then all I need to do is to type a single command MDB publish and I will choose npm package manager and then I need to choose a name for my project. I'll name it Carousel Tutorial. Then I will accept all other options. And after a few seconds, my project is available in the internet at this link. Let's see if it works. And yes, it does. Super fast and extremely useful. If you like it, don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you in the next tutorial.